Hey, how's everybody doing out there? First of all, my name is Kenneth Bird. I am the creator of Crystal H Technology Screens using smart technology game. Now, I've been doing my demonstrations like this from day one. Uh, fully lit environments, uh, window light cascading in, showing that our technology does work. I have done multiple demonstrations uh, using this same setting with the TI-47. But yet, when someone did a review, I say a very wrongful review on our technology, they claimed that it didn't work. It's funny, your claim against the over 2,000 videos in our archives of this testing the screen on just about every level, uh, not to consider the fact that we have live demonstrations on Facebook of us actually testing these screens. So, with that being said, I think the one review is pretty much bogus. And I'll tell you why. Because we have contracts, distributorship contracts under this technology, and it continues to sell every single time. Now, here's the thing. I never, I don't, I, I don't think I have seen one video demonstration of someone doing their screen paint in this kind of environment. Look around on YouTube, take a look. I guarantee a majority of these videos will be cast in shadow like environments or a pitch black dark environment with the projector sitting either too close to the screen or they'll be using some form of high power projector, 4K upscaling, calibrating the projector, all kinds of enhancements to make the picture look good. But tell me, look, in this environment, have you seen anyone do a demonstration with this much light? Now, consider the fact we've done demonstrations outside around 7 o'clock and 8 o'clock in the evening. Uh, we've done demonstrations on 200 lumen projectors at 21 feet back. We're the first ones that actually started putting bar lights in the center of the screen when everybody wouldn't do it. All right, so let me show you. My projector sits back around 13 feet from the screen. This is a ViewSonic long throw for 1080p projector. The only contraption I have in the back of this is a Chromecast, which is actually broadcasting my feed. I have my cell phone right here. Let me show you how much light I have in the environment. You excuse the squeaky floors. I have several condensed lights that actually come down on top of my screen. My screen, keep in mind, is painted in. I actually decided to paint the screen in instead of actually um, uh, building a frame. Here's my window over here. I'll show you how much light comes through my window. My window is fully open, so there's light coming right through the window. Now I'm going to show you something real quick. I'm going to turn off my lights and show you that there is ambient light that casts right down on top of the screen. So the screen is taking in ambient light. I'll turn back on my overhead lights and you can see the light hitting here and here. Now there's no mirrors, there's no illusions, no tricks whatsoever. Basic projector, screen, ambient light, that's it. I don't know how in the world anyone could fake anything that this simple and this basic on it when it comes to a demonstration. So we're going to go back over here. We're going to take, there's my sloths over there. Take my projector out of blank mode over here. All right, and we're going to begin. Now this right here is our new screen paint. This is our Eclipse Ultra 4K Supreme Cinema. I've done these demonstrations also too with the TI-47, but yet I have never seen anyone do demonstrations like we do. Well, like I said, in some of these demonstrations, I'll see the open door where the screen will sit behind the door. Very little light will come into the environment. Now, as you can see, this is a very dark scenery uh, <coughs> for this demonstration. And you, sorry, <coughs> you can see how much light is cascading in. That's my cold kicking my butt. Color doesn't fade. 
does a wash out and I have window light cascading right on in. As you can see, there's no smokes and mirrors at all. Screen, projector, ambient light. So when we see demonstrations where people are taking our technology and slandering it, I don't know what they're doing with the demonstration or whatever they're trying to do, we automatically know it's a fake. It is what it is. Okay, I want to add really quick that the um, screen paint that will be available for the new Eclipse Ultra 4K Supreme Cinema, um, the two quart kits will come with a, a blackout cloth, a free blackout cloth that's 5x10, one, one gallon, sorry, will come with a blackout cloth that's 10x20, screen paint is completely weatherproof, low VOC, it's also too, also too biodegradable, it works with 4K, it's actually 4K and 3D ready, all the specifications are at the bottom. And you can use it with a projector, I think as low as 200 lumens. Get the focus a little better. Now something else I want you to notice. When you watch somebody, let's say a particular person doing a demonstration when they claim window light is hitting their screen. They do it on a small, tiny screen because that means majority of most of that light is going to bypass that entire screen. We do it on a larger surface next to the window because more of the screen, more of the, more of the screen is going to be covered by light. So, and this basically, if someone's doing it, they run the risk of basically an area of the screen become faded. With a smaller picture, with a smaller screen, they can control more. They can also too, tighten the projector by zooming in and actually tightening the pixelations to make the screen seem sharper. As I said, the farther the projector sits back, the bigger the image it has to project on. The bigger the pixelations would have to expand, you will lose some form of picture quality. Alright. how well color shows up with window light cascading in. Also to keep in mind the farther back the projector the more lumens you're going to lose because by the time it travels from one end to the next and hits the screen, depending on how much light you have in the environment, depends on how many lumens you're going to have before it actually touches base with the screen. The screen's going to have to generate enough light to be able to bring the image back to you that's going to be brighter and sharper.
Alright, I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal Waste Technology Screens using Smart Technology Game, showing you how it's done. Thank you all for watching.